Game presented by Coca-Cola Classic. We're headed to overtime. At one point, Michigan State scored 24 straight points to take the lead. Notre Dame responded with 21 straight, and we're headed to overtime. And here are the rules, Pat. Well, you get the series in the 25-yard line, and, and the series will end after team scores or fails to make a first down. And each team gets one series, at least one series. And you know, this is why you, when you win the toss, you play defense. You want to know what you have to do when you get the ball. From the I formation, a rare formation today. Quinn chased and scrambled ahead, tripped up. Back to the line of scrimmage. Heron got a hand to trip him up. You know, every time Michigan State has blitzed a safety or a linebacker, they've gotten a lot of pressure on Brady Quinn. I just, you know, keep bringing the pressure. And then a determined blitz that time by David Heron because he. Brady Quinn slipped it early, but Heron kept after him and dropped him for a one-yard loss. Second down and ten. I guess he did tackle for a one-yard loss. <laughs> At the last scrimmage. And to Darius Walker, no, fake to him. Quinn still has it. Ducks under the rush. Heaves it out of the end zone. strong dude. I mean, I, you think about him as a quarterback, but how, at that time he broke the tackle of Clifton Ryan, who's 302 pounds. Just kind of keeps battling and makes another great play. I mean, it's an incomplete pass, but that, that avoids a sack, avoids a 10-yard loss. So now it's third down. Third down and 10. Actually, third down and 10 and a half, if you want to be Thank precise. Thank you. Back. Appreciate that. But again, if, I, if I'm Michigan State, I'm bringing some pressure. The front four have not been able to get there on their own generally. So it's these guys in here that have been causing problems. They On the bring. shotgun, Brady Quinn. Plenty of protection this time. Going for the end zone. Jump ball. Snowball. Incomplete. Good defense that time by the uh, by the Spartans from Demond Williams. So fourth down. Well, they gave him a chance, and you, you know you go to your hot hand. What, he's caught 10 balls today, eight balls, excuse me, 176 yards. The ball looked like he pushed off. Yeah, he did. Yeah, it looked like he pushed off. And Williams did a smart thing looking back for the yeah. football. <laughs> Fitzpatrick then to attempt a field goal. A 43-yard attempt for Fitzpatrick. It's a knuckleball. Yeah. Yeah, knuckleball, and they got through. But John L. Smith congratulates his defense as he holds Notre Dame to a field goal. Okay, you know, Michigan said, let, let, let Drew Dan play a little bit, right? Open it up. Let him go. And don't be surprised to see a quarterback draw in this mix. He's an awfully good runner, but boy, I tell you, he's, he's uh, managed the entire offense. They come in with four wide receivers. A touchdown wins it for Michigan State. Drew Stanton, quarterback draw. Makes a nice run out of it. Like you said, not pretty, but it's a first down inside the 15-yard line. You know, it's interesting that Charlie Weiss thinks of anything, everything, though. When he said, hey, we're going to, you know, uh, when they, they get the ball, we get the ball, we're going to defend, uh, go down into our end zone, have our crowd, our students be there to make some noise. So this is the loudest part of the, uh, of the stadium. That's a blitz right here. Will be called against Michigan State. There's the crowd and there's the threat of the blitz. Yeah. Ryan Woods, the guilty party. False start. 89 offense. Five yards. The down remains first. Yeah, you know, when you're in that silent count situation, it's still not quite as secure as if you can hear one another. And even though you practice it, you know, this is the first game on the road. It's just not quite right. Ready, he hits that his pad. Tells the center I'm ready for the ball. Stand option play. Pitches it back. Teague. Good step on Teague for the winning touchdown.
Jason Teague with a 19-yard touchdown scamper, breaking tackles and throwing out a stiff arm as Stanton engineers the fifth consecutive win at Notre Dame Stadium by the Michigan State Spartans. You know, Tom, remember earlier in the game they ran that play and Stanton kept, it, kept the ball, didn't pitch it, and scored himself? This time, he decides to pitch it. And a good decision gets the ball to Teague, who dances into the end zone for the win. I mean, a really good call and good execution on an option play. They scored twice with this play. Once he kept, once he pitched. Zubikowski missed the tackle. Teague gets in. Purdue beat Notre Dame five straight times at Notre Dame Stadium from 1954 to 62. And now Michigan State has done it. They have beaten Notre Dame five consecutive times and their 12th victory all time here at Notre Dame Stadium. That's the record. Let's take a look now at our Chevrolet or Coca-Cola defensive play of the game. There was that stop right down by the end zone of the big freshman fullback Aesop Schwab. Good recovery. Some question whether or not he had broken the plane of the goal line with the ball before the fumble, but it was ruled a fumble and video analysis confirmed that. And in overtime, Michigan State has won it. Let's go down to Lewis. All right, thanks. What a game, Coach. Why don't you take me back to that last play and the call and how you were able to score that touchdown? Yeah, we wanted, we got it down there. Drews did, did enough with his feet to get it down there. We had a great block or two on the edge, and Jason Teague made him miss a tackle and got it in the end zone. Yeah, thank God. We just didn't stop believing, and the kids played their heart out. You have to give those guys on that sideline a great deal of credit. I tell you what, they're a heck of a football team, and uh, they had control the second half. Thank God we uh, had enough courage to hang in there and win it at the end. And I guess you can't imagine a time where you've had so many fourth downs tried on you that you're able to hold on on some of the most important ones at the end of the game there. Yeah, the most important one right at the end, without a doubt. You know, but uh, there's so many big plays. There were so many plays that we made mistakes on that we have to correct to become a good football team. So we're going to get after the ones that really count next week, so we got a good rally for Illinois. All right, Coach, thanks so much. Tom? All right, Lewis. Drew Stanton today. The quarterback for the Spartans passing for 327 yards and then pitching to Jason Teague, who had just returned to this game off suspension, broke a tackle and scampered into the end zone for the overtime victory for the Spartans as they beat Notre Dame at Notre Dame Stadium for the fifth consecutive time. They'll now go to Illinois with a 3-0 record as Notre Dame falls to 2-1 as they head to Washington and former coach Tyrone Willingham. Final score again, Michigan State 44, Notre Dame 41 in overtime. For Pat Hayden and Lewis Johnson, Tom Havin saying so long from Notre Dame Stadium. USA 